Hey guys, it's Caitlin and Grim. Can you see? Look at the little beebs. Oh, he doesn't want to be here with me. Such is life, right? They all run away from me. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, my butt hurts. I wanted to see if he would come make an appearance in the video. He's so much bigger than he was obviously when I got him because he's growing. But he's like a little baby cat now. He's not like a kitten anymore. So. My name is Caitlin. Thank you guys so much for watching here. Um, I wanted to do just a really quick little update video for you guys. Oh, he's gonna jump on the camera. No. No, baby Grim. No, little boy. Who's that? Say hi. Hi, handsome kitten. He's really big and he's very feisty. And I love him. He's very lovey too when he wants to be. When he's not cutting, oh. Can you hear my kids? They're playing in, with the garage right now. Like, um, so anyways, how y'all doing? Let's do an update. Like, um, thank you guys so much for watching. So I think I'm like 55, 56 weeks out from vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I had surgery on October 12, 2015 in Little Mass at Little General Hospital with Dr. Beck Shore. Sorry, that's like a thing, but I say it in all my videos. So, um, I am, like I said, about 55 or six weeks out from surgery, I think. And, excuse me, when I started this process was in July of last year. I had to go through and lose a certain amount of weight before they would actually schedule um, surgery for me. So I weighed in, my highest weight was, or my starting weight was 335. My weight um, to meet so that I could actually have surgery scheduled was 313. And I met that, I think, the end of August, beginning of September, and then they scheduled it for October 12th, and on that day, I weighed in at 300.8. Last time I saw you guys, I think it was at 290, uh, 196, I always say two. I can't get used to saying a one in front of my number. Um, 290, <laughs> 196, um, I think that's where I was at. This morning, I weighed in at 194.6, so I'm down a couple pounds, which is great. Um, you know, Halloween. It's come and gone, thankfully, it's gone. And all of the good candy out of my kids' candy has already been like rifled through and eaten by my boyfriend. So I'm staying away from those temptations. I feel like I'm much more kind of in control than the last week or so. Um, before, I just felt like I was super like eating everything and anything I could get my hands on, especially with like Halloween candy and everything. I was just having a really tough time. I felt like I was in kind of one of those mental fogs where I just couldn't like get a hold of anything. I couldn't really, I don't know, I just felt very like fuzzy. I don't know how to better describe that. I'm sorry. I wish I could. But um, so I felt like I was just in a really weird spot. I couldn't control myself. Um, I had very little self-control and I just felt like I was kind of going out of control. So I feel like I'm much better the past week or so. I feel like I'm much more clear headed. Um, I've been able to really make conscious decisions on what I'm eating, making sure I'm getting my water in. And obviously the results was a pound and something of a loss, which I'm really thankful for. Um, and yeah, so you know there's not much updating to be done other than the fact that I did have a little bit of a loss um, there was something that I was gonna talk about and I forget what it was you feel does anybody ever have this I just said I was so much clear-headed so much more clear-headed than before and I have no idea what I was gonna talk about um, <clears throat> yeah so I feel like um, the main thing that I've kind of been struggling with lately is my self-consciousness with my appearance um I was doing my Q&A video earlier I don't know if that's gone up or when that will go up but um talking about you know your confidence really does need to come from within and I feel like I've really built that up throughout this journey really been able to find what it is that I like about my personality and not necessarily just focusing on little body parts that have changed because of this you know this journey because your body's ever changing like not you're not gonna hit goal and look that fabulous for the rest of your life you're not gonna hit goal and stay there for the rest of your life you're gonna have to work to maintain but even still you're gonna age you're gonna get wrinkly you're gonna get saggier and you know things are gonna change so I think it's not the wisest to be po like pinpointing physical attributes of yourself um and saying oh this is you know this is why i feel good about myself this is why i you know i i feel like i have self-confidence your tits are going to be gone if they're not already I hate to break it to you you're going to be wrinkly uh you know your, your facial skin is going to be crow's feet unless you're doing botox all over the place which i wish i could because look at that my boyfriend won't let me though um so you know what i mean like your your my my twat neck is going to just get even twattier and saggier like it's just 
that's not what we should be building our confidence on. It should, you know, I'm so happy that you all, you know, that we are able to feel good about ourselves. I'm not saying I don't feel good about myself. I love that I have more options clothing wise. I love that I like the way that clothes look on me now. Um, I'm absolutely enjoying that aspect of it, but that's not the reason that I'm gonna love myself any more or less than I did before. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think that um, my confidence has really been building from within, but now I'm still looking at myself and I'm just like, oh, I, and not like my loose skin or anything. Yeah, that's been a tough challenge for me, but um, like my face, I feel like I don't like the way my face looks as I've lost weight. I feel like I was looking, I was trying to do like a face-to-face -face Friday uh, picture or something like that, and I saw my face and I was like, oh, I really looked so much prettier when I was plumper in the face. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know, that's kind of my struggle. <laughs> struggle um, is trying to kind of just get over that and not be so superficial and uh, be focused on that, you know what I mean? So I'm trying, that's what I'm like struggling to do because I look in the mirror and I'm just like, <laughs> um, but again, I think it's important to note that, you know, you want to be confident from within. You don't want to be confident on, you know, a, a physical attribute. Yes, it can contribute to your confidence. That should not be the reason that you love yourself um, because that's going to be changing, ever changing. You're going to grow. You're going to age. You're going to, it's just, it is what it is. It's not all weight loss related. And even when you get to goal again, you're not going to stay the exact same. So I think it's important to focus internally and really be proud of who you are and love yourself and love your, you know, you know, your heart and love your characteristics and your personality. And so I focused a lot on that and now I'm just kind of like, hey girl, who the fuck are you? Like my ex was like, you look so different than you did before, which yeah, I mean, I, I was heavier when I met him, but he was like, you look weird now. And I was like, oh, you're actually freaking right. <laughs> um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm kind of De dealing with that, D -d -d dealing with that, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's it though. I mean, I don't really have a whole heck of a lot to say to update on. Um, yeah. Do you guys like my Christmas tree? I have my Christmas tree up here. This is my bedroom. I have one downstairs, like our actual Christmas tree. The boys have one in their room, but theirs is up year round because it's their nightlight. I've heard that that's kind of bizarre and like people don't get that, but I think it's so normal that my kids have a Christmas tree as a nightlight. Like, why not? Okay. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to say that I did film a haul video to go up my channel for um, a makeup haul that I did. And um, I just wanted to put it out there that, you know, I feel like I've done a couple of makeup tutorials in the past, but I, I like this channel to be around what I enjoy and obviously I enjoy makeup and that's all that I do is I watch YouTube, I don't watch TV, I watch you know tutorials and hauls and reviews and all kinds of stuff, um, favorites of the month and so I feel like why not start incorporating some of the stuff that I like to watch into my own channel and that I like to share with you guys. So I hope you guys are okay with that, I know that this is like Caitlin's VSG journey um, but it's also like my journey through life. So there, that's what we're gonna say. This is my journey through life. Um, so. Yeah, that will be coming if it isn't already up there. And again, I said in that video, like, if that's not your cup of tea, like, totally don't feel like you have to watch it. You know what I mean? Like, feel free to not watch videos that don't speak to you or, you know, whatever. Don't pertain to you. If you're a dude and you don't want to watch a makeup haul, then don't. If you're a dude and you love makeup hauls, what up? I'm your girl. Um, but yeah, so I, I hope you guys don't mind that. And, um... I don't know, I hope you guys, you know, just allow me to grow. There's my kid, there's my cue to say goodbye. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you, I love you all so very much, and I will see you later, bye.